<laughs> Making his triumphant return to brother from another, O'Shea Jackson Jr. First question, Shea, how many bottles did you go through last night in this morning? Uh, ten. Ten for every year that we were away from our home, the NBA Finals. I'm so happy, you know, the, the rest of these single-digit having championship teams <laughs> trying to steal Larry from us, Larry O'Brien, and, you know, I'm, I'm glad he's finally back home. There's a reason why the Lakers logo is a gold ball, because that's what that's at the top of the trophy right there. We are... We are everything about the NBA. I'm, I'm happy for the first female owner to win a chip, Jeannie Buss. We knew it was always going to be you. Therefore, I mean, it's written. It's written already. So, hey, O'Shea, other than the, the final buzzer and, and the championship being official, what was your favorite moment of this entire run? Give me your favorite moment. <sighs> it's got to be... It's got to be Anthony Davis hitting that shot game two mm. against Denver. That was like his, you know, that was his his big shot Bob moment. You know, that was, my mom said that was his Laker moment. You know, that's when he got his purple and gold armor that day. And you need moments like that. Because if you, if you, if you think about, also, Danny Green has a huge part of that moment. If Danny Green doesn't go and get that offensive rebound that ends up giving us another possession, then, you know, that that series, you know, it could have been ugly. We still would have won, but I don't want to play any more games than what I have to. And, yeah, that, that moment right there, seeing Rondo fall out this last game, I hated Rondo. I hated Rondo. Right. Rondo aggressively <laughs> like I couldn't stand him. and then once he became a Laker I started getting this, these weird feelings and and Rondo's Laker moment was a buzzer beater against the Celtics last season and so for him to come in get the job done 17th title for the Celtics back in the day then comes to the Lakers and it gives us our 17 he is like the weirdest chapter of that rivalry and I love him to death now <laughs> well, well, you know, it's it's funny. Wasn't that long ago when LeBron got there, Shay, and it was like, oh, you ain't Kobe. Kobe's the king of L.A. Remember there was some folks that, I think, you know, vandalized the mural or something like that. Um, yeah, and even LeBron different. talked about it. Yeah, exactly. I know, posers. <laughs> Outside agitators. That's who that was, right? You're right, uh, but, right. Even, but, even Le <laughs> but even LeBron, uh, <laughs> but even LeBron said, like, Laker Nation doesn't care what you've done until you do it here, you know? So <laughs> how do you view LeBron now? He was one of yours before, but now he's really one of yours. How do you view him now versus before he won this championship? Yeah, you know, I was one of those people who not, you know, as soon as he got here, I always describe it like if Darth Vader uh, hits you up and is like, yo, I'm trying to kick it with your squad, you don't really – you know, downplay him. Come on through. Whatever you're trying to do, we'll do it. Right. And, uh, you know, with LeBron, it was it was game one. I think it was the 2017 finals, but game one uh, when the Warriors had got Durant and it's in Golden State. It's the one where J.R. Smith uh, had that play. Oh, yeah. You know that. Play. Yeah. In that game, LeBron had like 51. And 51, 8, and thinking, 8. I, I remember thinking, I'm never going to hate on this man ever again in my life. Like, it's, it's just unreal. He's unreal. And he's efficient. And he does think plays ahead. His his basketball IQ is unreal. That's why getting a team with him and Rondo on it is almost unfair. But LeBron bringing the chip to the purple and gold, all I really want is for 2K to finally put him on the all-time Lakers because they cheating us. I really don't understand why Kawhi Leonard and Paul George get to be on the all-time Clippers, but I can't get LeBron. Now that he got a chip, I'm expecting the ultimate lineup of Magic, Kobe, Bron, Kareem, and Shaq. Stop cheating us. Start treating us. Okay. <laughs> I like hey, it. Hey, hey, we, we had a, a great debate last week. 
I want to get your take on it. I think I know where you're going to fall on this, but I just want to hear you say it. We were talking about Lakers and Celtics, both now with 17 championships. And Michael Smith was saying the Lakers are the most important team uh, in the NBA. I think it's something like that. Most important to Absolutely the NBA, right. NBA culture. And I said, look, mm -hmm. it's the Lakers and Celtics. It's the Lakers and. How do you feel? Well, first of all, um, you'll never see me praise the Celtics in any form or fashion. Uh, <laughs> and the league is the Lakers. It is all about the Lakers. The most winningest franchise in the league's history. We've been to the finals tied. the most times. Tied. The most times. Every jersey, every sock, every ball, every camera, every backboard has a Laker on it. They can't escape it. It is what it is, and it ain't what it ain't, and it ain't the Celtics. So, you know, like, the league is better when the Lakers are winning. You look in our Raptors, and you got top 50s all throughout there. There's Crazy. there's really no fight in it. You know, I know everybody everybody wants to get on Laker fans because, oh, you had to wait 10 years. Oh, 10 years is so long. <laughs> you know what? I'm sorry I'm not a Phoenix Sun. I'm sorry I'm not a <laughs> Memphis Grizzly or a Washington Wiz or or the, the Hornets or the Knicks. Or, I'm a Laker, bro. It's unacceptable a decade without winning. And now we here, and y'all get to hear my mouth until tip off of the next season. It's gonna be <laughs> a bloodbath. Well, no, but but help me. Uh, that actually help me understand that because of pet. See, I got a couple of pet peeves, man. I don't like I don't like random number anniversaries. I don't like people tell me it's the third anniversary or the seventh anniversary. It's like nah, five, ten. That's one pet peeve. Another pet mm. peeve I have is a. It's the Lakers' first championship since 2010. I mean, you're right. For, to, no, that's not that long ago to people like me. But you said mm. in your Instagram video, it was 10 annoying years. So <laughs> stay with that for a second. Like, why was why was it such a why was it so difficult to go 10 years, Shay, without a championship? Like most franchises don't even taste one in, in, in a lifetime. So what, tell, me, tell us why that was so difficult. Well, you know, those players on those franchises should probably be Lakers. Um, it works out pretty <laughs> good for you. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a Laker, bro. I don't know what the draft lottery is. I don't like, <laughs> like, I don't like, like, recording the lottery and waiting for ping pong balls and getting nervous and, I, like, I don't You, you got to see how the other half lives. I'm, that's not me. Like, you know, I don't like feeling that way. And so it was foreign territory. And y'all can have all that. I think y'all should really name the draft after the Clippers. They've been there so much. I, it just felt like I was on enemy lines, you know? And it's just it just made me uncomfortable. I, I Actually, enjoyed the you, playoffs. So I like, you, I, I like you, you being such an accomplished team. actor. You being Say such an accomplished actor. You being such an accomplished actor, I think you'll appreciate this. You know who the Lakers were for the last 10 years? Y'all were Dan Aykroyd and trading places. That's who y'all. Y'all got y'all y'all got to see what the other half felt like. <laughs> and now you're looking good, Billy Ray. Now you like. <laughs> now, you, now you back on top. You know. Yeah, you, man. You, 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 you lobster, forgot, lobster, and crack crab. Now for everyone. I forgot how stressful the playoffs are, and I I, I have at least four white hairs somewhere in this fro. And I'm just happy it's over. I can relax, kick my feet up, watch football, and just not trip. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, this is this is my final one for you. I'm a. I, this is like an alley oop if you've ever gotten one. What is your final message to the Los Angeles Clippers? Oh boy. <laughs> <sighs> you know, you guys really tried to switch it up on me. It was all Staples Center love until you let that Celtic come down here and coach y'all and pump y'all up to divide the city. Now you're leaving Staples Center because you're too weak to put up a banner in there. You're running from the Sparks. You're running from the Lakers, <laughs> especially. But let me tell you, you can run as fast as you can, as far as you want to go. 
And we will always be in your ear reminding you that you are trash. You are trash. And you you hypnotize these players with dollar signs. Poor Kawhi Leonard. You could have had it all, brother. You could have had it all. Paul George, you stay where you at. I hear they're trying to trade you to New York. But <laughs> now y'all got rid of Doc, who's your coach and your GM. And now y'all about to scramble again. Oh, my God. Pray for the less fortunate, y'all. Pray for the less fortunate. Hey, man. It is always our good fortune and our pleasure to have you, brother. I, I, first person I thought of all, all weekend, I was like, look, Shay coming on Monday. Either he's going to be talking game seven or going to be talking a championship. Either way, we had you set. Thank you for getting up. I know it was a long night, but, uh, hey, it was oh, worth yeah. it, right? It was, it was worth the wait. Yeah, it was definitely worth it. I, after last night, I changed my Twitter name to O'Shea Jack Nicholson. I'm going hard. I'm going hard. I'm going I'm going on such a disgusting media tour that it will be people praying and begging for me not to win it again next year. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love it. Hey man, congratulations. Hey. Nobody deserves it more, man. That's right. Congrats. And you know what? You probably will be back next year. They they're the favorites again. They're the favorite. You gotta give it up. They're, they're the favorites. Hey, I believe it was the Heat owner, Pat Riley, who once said, and next year, we're going to win it all again. <laughs> he, said, he said that in with the Lakers. Sure did. Yeah. Sure did. He sure, yeah, he sure did. He was like, we're going to win it again. <laughs> that yep. that yeah. look, man. All right, shit. Yeah. Be good, brother, man. Take care. All right, man. All right, go Lakers.